we have a list of industry experts that say you should never reload your own ammunition. I think we simply disagree. We're the Armed Attorneys. Today we're talking about whether or not you should reload your own ammo. And stick around to the end, we're going to talk about the one kind of ammo you should uniformly stay away from. And before we get started, please show your support for the Second Amendment by hitting the like button. And to start this conversation, we have kind of two categories or two you know, levels of law we need to look at. And that's our federal law and our state law. Well, we know that there's no federal law saying you can't reload or make your own homemade ammunition. So we have to look at the state. So it's going to vary on a state by state basis as to whether or not you are allowed to reload your own ammunition. Now, there may be some restrictions there, not just on reloading, but the type of ammunition that you make. But what we see come up time and time again is, you know, kind of this fear. And we, we have a whole list of industry experts that say, you should never reload your own ammunition. I think we simply disagree. And that's because of the self-defense implications, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I mean, and look, most states have absolutely nothing to say about your custom reloads. So, you know, our general advice is if it's going to keep you safer, if it makes you more comfortable, if it makes you a better self-defender, do it. Let us worry about the consequences when a prosecutor tries to use it against you later, right? That's for your attorney to worry about. Same thing with, um, you know, when you're modifying the trigger on your firearm, anything you do is going to be twisted to use against you. So at some point you just have to say, you know, throw your hands up and say, I'm going to keep myself safe. And I'm going to, you know, let the professionals deal with the fallout. And, and there are some exceptions. To yes. That, right? And there, it's all about risk tolerance. And in the vast majority of cases, uh, homemade reload ammunition in a state that it's legal, it's not going to cause an issue. But, you know, like Emily said, we saw this in like in the Kyle Rittenhouse case. Mm -hmm. No matter what type of ammunition you use, whether it's hollow point, they're going to call it cop killers or full metal jacket. They're going to try to scare the jury into feeling afraid of that type of ammo. No matter what you use, they're going to try to use it against you. And, but it, I still think, you know, it still falls into that general category as far as risk tolerance goes of, you know, non-function enhancing modifications to a firearm. If it's going to be extremely unusual that a prosecutor could paint a really, you know, a, a, a not good narrative, you know, and I see this come up maybe with salt loads or dime mm -hmm. loads or um, if you're using darts or, you know, so, there, there's some unusual ammunition out there, but just know it's, it's all about risk tolerance. But at the end of the day, you know, I tell my folks, use what, what's legal, what you're comfortable with training, and what's going to keep you safe. Yeah. And, you know, of course, be cautious. Know what you're doing. I mean, you know, if you have created your own custom reloads and you have, you know, managed to cause a malfunction or, you know, it harms someone in a way that you don't intend, you're going to be responsible for, um, you know, dealing with the negligence cause that's brought yeah. up. and. And, you know, when your negligence causes harm to someone else, causes them injury, death, damages, I mean, you are generally on the hook for that. Yeah. And so that's a really good point. You know, it's a hobby, but, you know, there's some risk involved with the hobby. So make sure you know what you're doing. And that brings us to our attorney pro tip of the day about the one type of ammunition you really have to avoid. And that's armor piercing handgun ammunition. Now, there's a big, long definition to this. And we have a full video breakdown linked in the description below. But just know that there is a type of ammo out there that is prohibited under federal law. So check that out if you're interested. And obviously, you wouldn't want to be making that at home. So we hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and help us fight the anti-2A algorithm by sharing this video. And leave us your questions and comments below. Until next time, we're the Armed Attorneys.